Hey there, it's Potmos, and welcome back for episode 6 of our little prison, as we overlook the whole prison here right now. Uh, I think we have been building quite the impressive prison, but hey, we need to get bigger and larger and stuff, and we have a ton of work to do. We do make some good money, though, although that is daily, and of course a day takes time, so we'll have to see if we can uh, ramp that up and get some real money on the bank, because right now we don't have a lot of money on the bank, but that should be okay. The focus now should be to finishing this little wall area, which seems to be done, and then we can implement the, um, the yard and stuff right here. So what I'm going to do now is go up here, then I have to get the quick build right, but I think what we can do is just get all of this and that wall, because that's the wall that we're missing, I believe. Then we're going to uh, rotate this one so it's turned around. And then it should fit nicely in here. And it does. That should get things settled in here. Uh, we may not have to forget the utilities. So let's do that. And now they should be building this quickly. And getting another yard. This other area ready here. Which will be great. Because that means that these prisoners don't have to go all the way up to go to their yards and stuff. They can just go here. I kind of like that. Another thing I would like to do is add some lights to this one. We already have a few lights here, which is not optimal. But, but at least it's a few lights. So we have some lights there. I don't know. Just get some lights going. Yeah, something like that. There we go. Well, at least this should light the thing up slightly. We have quite a few prisoners inbound at the moment. I believe another 33 or something. But we'll soon be up to the capacity. That is a lot. We should be getting quite a bit of money for the prisoner intake as well. So that will be nice. But, um... Oh boy. The guards will be busy. We only have 60 guards. We have 160 prisoners. So... Let's just add some guards to the equation. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Alright, spending a lot of money on the sofa and stuff, but that's fine. I don't care about that. And right now, we're just really busy making sure all the prisoners get to their appointed cells. We have to keep the deployment in check, though. Um, so right now, in these cell blocks, we have three guards. Here we have none, so let's put three in here. How many guards do we have on... 28 are stationed, so... Most of them are not stationed. Let's just put two in the yards. One in each common room, so that at least things are checked out. Here we do the same, I think. One in the yard. They're not done with this. Apparently something is missing, otherwise I could just... Make it permanent. Make some extra money if you add a death row to the prison. Now, that's a thing I've been thinking about. Adding a death row, but the problem with that is I am strongly against the death penalty. And I know this is just a game, but still, somehow, I don't feel too comfortable with the whole idea of adding a death row. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Probably, ah, yeah, they're still installing the doors. That's why we can't designate this separately. Um, so, yeah, I might just add a death row because it's, it's a feature in the game and I think it will be interesting. I've never actually built it. That's how strongly against the death penalty I am. Uh, but I might just build it at some point. I don't know. Ooh, we have a death today. Uh, deployment. Yeah, we need some extra guards in here, I think. Maybe even put an arm guard in at some point. And we need to save some money to build, to buy an extra zone and get the, these uh, guys in um, their own area, I think. Because now they're just mixed up with the rest, which is not the most ideal thing. But hey, on the other hand, we should just focus on doing this. We have 13 prisoners reformed after release, which is great. That worked out. I'm happy with that. Uh, and I think, we, yeah, we need a door control system. I was thinking we could place that somewhere here and then put control on these doors. But we can also close that one. Um, for that, I'm not sure if we already... Yeah, improve your equipment. Enables you to see CCTV vision and mark misbehaving prisoners in their field of view. Okay, well, let's do that. 
I guess we also need remote access then. And then once we have that, that should be nice. Now, somebody also commented on the tax relief one, which will be very nice. It will save you 1,500 taxes per thousand of daily profit. We right now have a profit of only 20, or almost 20,000, so we can save 3,000 on taxes if we get that one. So it will be very tempting to get that one. Now, what I would like to do is install this first. So that we get this grant in. And with that money we're going to start working on the tax relief. I want to make sure that I don't run out of any uh, problems. Or run into... Oh, we can already build the monitor. Ooh. Oh, we can already set up the cameras. Throughout the city of prison. Ah, that's what we have to... I thought it was for the door system. But this is for cameras. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, because we could be setting up some cameras in the hallways. That could actually make things a bit safer. You don't have guards in the hallways. I think one of the things also to try and work towards is to making these hallways indoors as well. That will keep a lot of prisoners in and make sure that they won't go out getting any contraband and stuff. So that will be helpful. Oh, and the yard here is ready. Oh boy, I am happy with that. Let's first fix the wall lights. So let's get a few extra wall lights going. There we are. Yep, that should do the trick. And oh, we have the extra yard. Yay. Oh, this looks nice. This should keep most of the prisoners happy. And I think if we look at their needs, they have a need for sleep now, but it's almost night time. There's a little bit of red in family and recreation, but that's it. They do like some more comfort. 111 have this need. 13 prisoners are dealing with this need. So there's a few that don't really have access to comfort. I don't know why. Maybe we have to give them some um, feed in their cell or something. That could help, but uh, okay. There was an issue here, but now it seems to be calmed down. That's good. Ooh, I would love to have a camera system where it is needed, but I don't know where it is needed. Now it's eat time. It's getting uh, night time soon, and that means that a lot of prisoners will go to sleep soon. So this might also be the moment where we say, okay, let's um, do a tunnel search, for instance. That would be nice. Could also set up some CCTV in the cell blocks, but with the guards patrolling there, I don't think that's too much needed. I think we need it in these areas most. So then the question will be how to place that. I have to think about this. Because if we place a camera like somewhere here and here. That could help out. The question is how much. We have nine prisoners up for parole. We have the parole officers ready. That's good. We have some staff that's tired. But hey they can just go and be not tired anymore. Prisoner release. Shop sales. Cash flow, nice. Alright, I think we can do the tax relief already. Let's just go with it. It takes 48 hours anyway. Let's get going with it. And yeah, where should we set up the CCTV then? Still not 100% sure on where to set it up and how to set it up. What if I set up a CCTV here? We put up some cameras in the hallway. That might do the trick, actually. So, let's try it. Let's put this up. And then put up some cameras in the hallway. Now, this one should be able to rotate quite a bit. So, we'll set up one here. One here. And one there. Let's see how that goes. Or it connect. I have to build it first, of course. Quite expensive equipment, by the way. Thousand. Oh, yes. Yeah, here we can see. And it can rotate, so that's okay. It's good, actually. It requires electricity, so we have to hook it up. Let's wait until they install this one. Alright, well, we need more cameras in the prison, apparently. We have to power this up, so let's make sure that we get a power line attached to it. And then it starts to work. We have our first three cameras. Two escapes today. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Uh, that's why I wanted to do the tunnel search. Of course, these escapes will happen. There's not a lot you can do about it except do tunnel searches everywhere. 
And so far it says only two escapes, so we have to find where I press this guy isn't there. Sometimes you can spot where it is because they will um you won't see the prisoners anymore. And of course as soon as they start to take this out, you will then see the whole tunnel. But yep, yeah, there comes the worker. That will be good. There he goes. As soon as you Yep, there we are. Alright, where does it go to? Oh, wow! They tunneled a long way. Alright. Let's get rid of this tunnel quickly. Oh, wow. One, two, and three. Oh, he stayed, so that's good. <laughs> Only two escaped out of the three that could escape, but that was interesting. Alright, one, two, three. How many cameras can we hook up to one of those monitors? Does it say that? Maximum of eight cameras can be viewed at once. Okay. So, what if we do the same out on this side? One, two, and three. That should give me more options to view everything. And hopefully that will get us... Oh, yeah, we got it now. Oh, I think we got the grant in. Very nice. 17, so we got more reformed prisoners. I think we got two grants done, didn't we? Oh, I have to check that. That would be amazing. That one goes there. That one goes there. This one goes there. All right, they should all be working now. They're all just checking it out. Do we have to actually power them? I thought they would get power from the connection. Okay, they don't. Apparently. I know how that works, but did the power not get to the console yet? Yeah, it does. Why is electricity? Hmm. Okay. So we'll just have to make sure the power line goes onto the cameras then, I guess. See if that makes it work. Luckily, we have a big building crew ready to do their job. We have some expenses, and I don't know what happened. Reform prisoners... I don't see any reoffending fines, so I don't know why we're not making that much money. Corporate tax is pretty high. So yeah, if that one comes in, that will save us a lot of money. So thank you for letting me know that one. That's a good one. I kind of forgot about it. But that's nice. Alright, we see the cameras turning now, so they can really see where things are and what's happening, which is great. One guy can now check all these corners and mark any suspicious behavior. Hopefully he does that. We have 40,000 to spare now. Yeah, we have only one grant. And cell block D will get us a lot more money. And we are close to getting it. So I think we should do that. Because that's 30,000. Carpenter. Could be nice. Classroom and stuff. All we need is pass the general education. Programs. Do we have somebody interested in general education? Yes. Can we set that one up? I have to find... Yeah, we can do that. Alright, let's see if somebody can pass that. That's a tough one, though. We'll take time... To see if they actually can manage that and if things will go well. But that should be okay. We're now working on our exports. Which should get us also a nice amount of money. So I hope we can do that. Look at these cameras working. That's cool. I think we now also have the door control system by the way. Uh, wiring. Door control system. Yes. Alright. Let's see. Uh, you can connect this to as many servos as you wish. However, the guard opening can open a maximum of two doors per second. Alright. So, what we have to do is add a door servo. I don't actually know how you have to add it. Like this, I guess. So, let's add three servos there. Servos can be chained together so that the first one opens. It will trigger the later ones. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Directly above the door. Once installed, the door will be opened with the servo itself triggered by a door control system. I don't know if these actually require their own power too. I think so. Yeah, it does look like it. So, let's power these up. And then we have to connect them, of course, via a wire to the door control system. But then, one guy can control all the in here which is an amazing addition why are you standing there why is he not getting placed solitary oh is there no solitary available 
I don't know. We'll find out. All the things have power, so... Um, opens on the trigger. Uh, let's close it for now. Oh, no, 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 no. Lock open. That should go. Open on trigger, yes. Alright, so the guard here is now opening the doors, as you can see, which works quite well. That's a good system. That will make these doors go uh, like crazy. And I think what I'm going to do now, since we have this, is add two extra doors to it. Namely, this one. And that one. Uh, because that should be quite powerful. Because this would mean that we can keep all those doors locked in. And that will mean... That we don't have to uh, keep these open all the time. So that means extra barriers for prisoners before they can get in. Or out, basically. In, in is not the problem. They can't just rush out anymore because these are all connected now. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, yeah, if you click, it, it doesn't move. So yeah, lock open, goes out. And we do the same to this one. Lock open, goes out. There it is. Now, the guy can open it. It's just one guy needed to open five doors. That should keep the prison safe. Nice. I think that also means that we can get rid of that guy in here. Because why would he be there? If he doesn't have to be. Keeping this guy, though, to keep this... If, if a prisoner still tries to escape so that he can get out... Okay, well, we have 80,000 now. How do we get 80,000? Another fight. Lots of prisoners gets checked out here. Let's get a few extra guards on hand. <laughs> kind of like that, having extra guards present in the areas. One death, well, that's bound to happen. 18,000, I don't know why. Prisoner food, reform programs, corporate taxes is a lot, guard wages, of course. Oh well, we only make 14,000, but that's okay. We're fine, let's do the quick build again. And expand our prison. And then while we do that, and make sure that we build this at one go. I think we can also start to work on some of the corridors if we want at some point. At least what we can do is build a wall here so that that's walled off. So that they can't get out. And maybe, since walls are not that expensive at this point, what we could just do is this. If we completely wall this off, we have the extra line... Of the fence against escapes. Because they won't be able to get into that area too. Right now they can. Because hey it's just connected everywhere. As soon as that's gone. We can make this a stop only area too. That will keep. A lot of prisoners out of that area. They probably won't get any contraband. From outside anymore. They're all asleep now by the way. So let's do a narcotics search in all sectors. Let's see if that works out. We need quite a few doggies for it. get five extra doggies i know it's costing money and that's eating into our profit but it's better to control your prison i guess and to have things under control than not have things under control and have things go bad so we're just going to keep this going and i think if we aim for somewhere between 10 and 15 thousand a day as income that's quite good and right now once our prison new cell block is up we get a ton of money again once we have the reform system working, we just need one prisoner to finish general education. We get a ton of money. We are almost a quarter into getting the reform prisoner initiative. Once that's done, we get a ton of money. So money-wise, we're actually not that bad. This is working out too. And as you can see, there's actually not too many contraband. These doggos are very good at finding it. So if they don't find stuff... That's actually good. That means that it's not there. We still have quite a few hours to go. So that's okay too. We're almost halfway in. You can see you need a lot of doggos to finish researches like this. So 
We're just trying to finish it all. 484, so 424 was the mid. So we are halfway done. That's nice. Let's keep them going. I think probably a few doggos are asleep right now. Yeah. One, two, three, four heading out to sleep. Two are sleeping. That's six dogs not working. That's why it's taking quite long. But we'll let them be. It's okay. It's fine. I'd rather have them just do a thorough search than any other thing. So, a lot of prisoners will complain, though, that they have been searched without a cause. And apparently there isn't much cause, because there's not a lot of contraband. But, uh... Maybe we can stop this right now. Pop off. Let's do another tunnel search. That goes a lot faster. At least that's a good one in preventing any escapes. Yep, look at that, how fast that's going. And then soon everybody will wake up. And, yep, they found a tunnel. Great job, people. Great job. Let's get rid of this tunnel. See, they're also not finding contraband, even though they're searching all the toilets. So, I think contraband-wise, this prison is a doozy. We're doing very well. Ooh, there comes the guests. Then they find the uh, metal detector, and some already go home because they had some illegal stuff on them. That's why you build a metal detector at the entrance of your prison. To get rid of all those guys. But they're all pretty happy. They say they are well treated. Which means that usually they have good food and stuff. I like that. Some are put to their cells now. Door control guy is working. Monitor guy is working. I like it. These guys are working. They're busy. How many stuff did I have? 20. Let's get five extra. That might speed things up a bit. That's a quarter extra, so that should make things faster and get this structure built. We have the money for it now, so why not? I mean, if we're short on money, okay, but we're not short. I think the research is done. Oh, no, 15 hours. I thought it was done, but yeah, just another 15 hours and we get to the um, X cut. I like it. Raise your prisoner capacity to 200. Well, we're on the way. As soon as this cell block is done, it's there. Still only 23 released and reformed prisoners, so we'll see. I want to get this going too. I think we need a few extra rooms, like a mail room and uh, maybe a library to get things all ready. Oh wow, something's happening here outside of the classroom. Let's get a guard response here. Oh, they're doing their first aid stuff, which is good. How many do we have? 22 maximum security prisoners, right? Now. Maybe we should designate one of these blocks just for the bad prisoners <laughs> could work out I'm not sure but could work out um 20 prisoners are now up for parole we need some extra parole officers that's for sure luckily we don't need a lot for that we just need this put in some visitor tables and i guess some lighting and then we have what it takes. Oh, come on. I removed this one. That's why I want to see the lighting now. Come on. Yeah, there it goes. Finally. One, two, three. Are there utilities in there? Yes, that's all fair. Okay, so as soon as this is ready, we can get some extra um, parole going. That should help us to watch more reformed prisoners. Nice. I'm, I'm really hoping that's going to work out. Now, these guys are pretty busy, but it's taken them quite some time to get it done, actually. Are they all resting? That's just one guy resting. Oh, well, it's okay. I mean, they have longer travels as well from one place to where the resources are to the building site. So that's okay. Ooh, this guy's building tables already. Ooh, they hear tunneling sounds somewhere. They hear tunneling sounds. Sometimes you don't find a tunnel, but uh, well, let's just do another search. All right, the lighting should be in soon, too. Let's make some extra rooms, and then we make some extra parole officers here. One, two, and three. There we are. And then we can set up some extra paroles. Uh, 
Strategy and Policy Class Programs. Wow. That was a tough one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reschedule all programs. All right, so now we have 18. Oh, that should do the trick. Let's deploy some guards there. I think we still have plenty without a job. I mean, as you, as you look at these numbers, 38 are not doing anything out of the 85. So yeah, we have plenty of guards basically not doing anything at the moment. So that should be fine. I think we can deploy one in there now too. Yes, that works. Very good. Well, the tunnel search, they didn't find anything, unfortunately, but it's okay. Let's go over our prison. Reform. Punishment grade is 4. Average... Reform grade is a 4. Average work experience is now a 2. Security grade is minus 1. Keeping inmates safe from harm inside the prison. I don't know how we can really make that better. It doesn't really say that. 0 on the health grade. Reoffending rate is 34%. That's actually not that bad. Did we already get the grant for... No, that's the 1. But if we can get that 1... And we lower it to 30%. That would be nice. Oh, I guess these were caught on, on some form of camera doing bad stuff or something. Nice. Don't know why we keep that uh, image up, but uh, we'll see. All right, there they go. Be nice to each other. Don't fight. Just eat. We need a bigger canteen. We did... Uh, yeah, we did separate them, so that's already a start. But we don't really need the bigger canteen in terms of... They can all eat here, so that's fine. But yeah, at some point we might need a bigger one to really accommodate everyone. I'm not so sure. We'll see. For now... Oh yeah, though, they're busy with the foundations. Most of it's done here. There's a few open spots, but that's okay. They're now trying to get things ready. Then all the stuff needs to come in. I'm actually going to add some more builders. Let's speed this up. Yes, it's costing me a bit of money, but it's not that bad. I mean, we still make 12,500 right now. We have 5,000 reoffending fines. That's already taken into account here. We have 10,000 exports yesterday. That's a good amount of money. Got Protexas, still high. 30%. But hey, in a few hours, we won't be paying that anymore. Or not, not as much. Wow, we pay now 5,368, 7,000. Wow. Well, that's going to make a difference if we can cut that in half. It'll save us quite a bit of money. 17,000, why? Reform prisoners, 6,000, nice. We are now up to 27 reform prisoners. Oh, that's good money. I'd like to have prisoners that uh, reform. That's what you want in a prison system. Prisoners that reform and start to do better. That's going well. Can we still add some uh, workers into some areas? Like this is the max. So we can't add workers here. This is the max. But we might need another um, place. This is at the max. So we have 30. 20. That's 50. Another 30. That's... 80 prisoners that can work. Here we have 12 and 8, so that's another 20. So we have 100 prisoners that can work. Alright, so at this point we have jobs for 100 prisoners out of the 160 that we can have. Well, that's actually not bad. That means that most prisoners can actually do a job. Once this is ready, that won't be a play. That won't be the, the thing anymore. So we have to provide some more jobs. Could set up one of these areas as a farming area and stuff. So maybe we should not build a cell block here. Uh, we need a guard response here. Love those tasers. They're really doing their job. Uh, let me check the programs, by the way, for my staff. 71 finished. 68 passed. We have 85 guards. So well, almost all did it. Fire safety training, 91 in queue, 10 finish, 10 pass. So that's good, that's good. 43 in queue, 60 finished, 58 passed. Oh, that's not bad, actually. I like that. So we do have a good amount of jobs, but we need more. And the question then, of course, will be how do we get more? I think that's one of the more important things at the moment. Oh, wow. 
concrete, concrete, concrete. Did we not get enough concrete for all of this? That's interesting. Or did the prisoners steal it? Oh, wait, they're asleep. They're almost about to wake up. Let's do a tunnel search. Boy, do we have to search those tunnels all the time. But hey, they will keep trying to escape, so we have to do this. Kind of wish we had this money in and that money in, because then we can start to make the hallways disappear. All right, we have a tunnel, people. Where is it? Right there. Well, they did tunnel a bit. Not too much, but a bit. Let's get rid of the tunnel. Five new prisoners inbound. That means extra money. That's what this game is about. Money, money, money. So that we can keep expanding and do better with the prison. This one is good. This one is good. So, yeah, no worries there. But if we can get these hallways up, that will make everything inside. I think they'll be helpful. Just as we need to get these walls up here. See there? Oh, they're also constructing these walls. I probably should not have done that. That's what making them a lot busier. Trying to get all these walls out. Instead of just doing what... Oh, there's a page here. Not interested in the pages, but... Uh, oh, well. Oh, yeah, there's one. There's more working here at the walls as well. All right, well, let's keep... We're not going to cancel it. We're just going to keep doing that until all the walls are done. That's the extra layer of keeping them in. And making sure that they don't start to uh, misbehave from stuff that they find. I think we need a few extra hands here and there, though. So let's go with that. I mean, we do need a lot of food. And I'd rather have extra cooks making sure that we get that than not. We could also go for a loan at some point. I think we've already... Uh, where is it? Around... Yeah. We have... Maximum loan is now 250,000 because we have a credit rate of 10. So we could loan a lot of money and start working on, for instance, another zone here. This zone will cost us 80,000. But if we can start to work on this area... And I don't know. How big is this? Oh, that's all the same size, I think. If we can set up a whole different area here for some maximum security prisoners so that we can keep them separated from the others, I think that might be helpful at some point. At this point, though, the workers are too busy to do that. So we're not going to get going with that yet. They need to finish this area. And we have to create some hallways here, I think. Although the need for the hallways basically goes away if all these walls are ready. Because then, yeah, they really can't get out anymore. These two areas. Uh, let's see. This wall's ready. This wall's coming along. They just need to finish the foundations here, which they're busy with, but it's just not going so fast. Why is that? I guess you have a lot of working to do, bringing everything in. That might be part of the problem. The thing is, I'm, I'm just having so many ideas. Like, I want to... Start working on this, get a mail room and stuff like that. There's still rooms that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, if we get the mail room, we can get the security room, which could be interesting. Um, we could get things like the fruit orchard, the meeting room, where they can have animal therapy and stuff like that, which will help with making them more nice. The cage, the prisoners that are in solitary confinement. This outdoor unit is used for exercise whilst maintaining the prisoner's exclusion from other inmates. Oh, that could be nice. Uh, but yeah, we can build a gymnasium, which can be helpful. Uh, so that they can release their aggression. But um, right now, they're all just busy building this. So there's no need or no use in, in building other rooms at this point because they won't build it they're just building this so we have to let them go and, and finish that first and we can go to speed four for a little bit oh we get some extra prisoners in we got some no we got no extra reform prisoners so that's not working out we really wish that we can get the classroom thing done are they busy with the um general education right now no, this one's active, so it's foundation education. General education, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Oh, wow, is it actually work hours for them? 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Oh, that's only for these guys then. Ah, that's not helpful. Okay, that's a tough one. 
Oh, then I don't know if it's actually going to work out. 8 p.m. Oh, yeah. Well, there's three guys doing the general education. That's good. Attendance, 21%. Success chance, 44%. 45%. 3%. Okay, so this is the guy to bet on. His attendance is 23%. We had a 50% chance of success already. That's nice. We have two more deaths. They keep killing each other in this hallway. Alright, well, it is what it is. We can't really do anything about it at this moment. Why are they all the time buying concrete? Just get things done here. I think they're just not know. They don't really know what they're doing at this point. They're just going about really finishing it, looks like. Would it just do one piece and then go work on something else or something? I don't know. They're all in the uh, class for... Uh... Oh, interesting. Alright, so this guy's carrying some stuff. He moved it over there. Yeah, come on, guys. Finish this. Really want them to finish that building. That's the way to go right now, so... They should finish it. Extra cells, extra money. Oh, they did do the parole officers. Oh, and we need to put in a lot of utilities and stuff yet. Ah. Well, I'm not going to set that up since they already struggled to do this. This looks like they're moving stuff all the time without actually placing it somewhere. Come on, guys. Let's do another tunnel search. Ah, they found a cell phone. That's good. Two, two cell phones. Some cigarettes. At least we get rid of that stuff. Wow, somebody's been handing them cell phones or something. How did they get all those? So they smuggled them in or something. We could make lots more money if we add a death row. I know. Well, we get rid of that message. Somebody already commented that we can get rid of that uh, by making sure that we... Uh, designate an area as death row but uh, I don't want to do that maybe I'm just going to build death row at some point alright well still busy building a lot of doggies are resting that's okay still buying concrete all the time I think something's going wrong there come on guys finish this move on Focus. Now they, oh yeah, they're finishing some parts, so we'll let them do that. Almost looks like they don't have access to everything, and that's why they're just not simply not doing it. I don't know, I don't know. Well, this looks like a weird thing, so we're gonna go anywhere else so that we don't have to watch that. And just wait for the best. Plenty of guards around. Uh, deployment. Yeah, there's three. There's three. One, two, two. Yeah. Okay, that's good. This is all set up. I want an extra guard in there. Three, one, two. Yep. Okay. Very good. Well, we can see they're now finally closing in on this area to finish it. So that's that's exactly what we are looking for. Kind of wondering if we should set up a patrol here with guards. Um, since this is the area, um, yeah, let's make this a, uh, oh, let's get rid of this patrol, because that's not where I want it to be. Let's set up a patrol area. Oh, yeah, I want two patrol areas. One there, one there. Assign guards. One, and we will assign two guards to it. They will just patrol here, because this is where the fighting is all the time, and now... That means there are two guards present there um, with tasers that can may, may be able to interfere early and make sure that we don't end up with any deaths, but just uh, taser them and, and get them already out. So, okay. All right. Well, just some open spots left. Come on. 
I think this might help. I think this might help. That would be good. This is going to cost me a ton of money, by the way. That's why I'm trying to save some money. So that we can get that out at one go. But hey, they're still buying concrete and stuff. It's weird because there's plenty of stuff laying around. They're just not using it. I don't know how that works. Sometimes sometimes this game just goes won't goes all of a sudden and then after it's fixed it might just be good again. What I could do is just delete this. Go to the quick build. Go to clone, see, and then do it again. And then a lot's already filled in. It's costing me quite a bit of money though, but this might just fix it. Because there's a lot of stuff already laying around that they can now use to build this. We'll see if it works. Should be seeing these guys coming in. I've, I've tried that before and then it worked like a charm. They would just be using all the old bits and, and finishing all the concrete stuff. Could also be that they're now going to transport everything to the storage first. We'll see. At least I hope things will now get uh, all ready and, and, and set. 35% of prisoners is reformed, which means out of 100, that's 35. So that's going well. That should be good. All right, they're probably now just moving all the stuff that's in the way. And then they should be finishing this, at least I hope. Oh yeah, they're bringing in more and more and more goods for the floors. <laughs> wow, we have way too much stuff for the floors. Looks like at least they stopped ordering new and new and new and then not using it. So this might have been the fix. I hope so. 35 workers now, so you would think it would be flowing with workers here that's actually going to do their job. Well, these are bringing in new, new goods for the floors, so... Come on, set it up. Make sure that we can go on. They're also now finishing this wall. And this is the only bit left. And of course this wall. To make sure that this outer layer is also no longer accessible for prisoners. See, now they can still go here and grab some stuff. That's what's happening. This is not far enough. Once this is all sealed in, I don't think they can throw stuff from outside all the way in here. So that could be the fix. Kind of hope that it is, but uh, oh, you can never be too sure. All right. Well, for now, we've been at it for more than 40 minutes, so this is going to be it. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments and tips and suggestions in the comment section. I can really use them. And then I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much, and bye-bye.